Create these 60 minute pocket pot holders that feature finger pockets for added protection to coordinate with your kitchen decor or give them as gifts. Here are the materials needed to make the 60 minute pocket pot holder. You will need a fourth of a yard of cotton fabric, a fourth of a yard of Insel Bright, and a fourth of a yard of quilted iron quick fabric. You will need a mat, the circle rotary cutter, and a one inch bias tape maker. To create the 60 minute pocket pot holder, you will need to cut two quilted iron quick circles, one insole bright circle, and two fabric circles. Here's how to cut the circles for the pot holders. I am using the rotary circle cutter Remove the protective pin from the pivot point. Make sure your blade is exposed at the other end. We are going to be making an eight and a half inch circle. Simply put the pin down and cut. Once you finish cutting the circle, remove the circle from the mat and continue with the remaining components. To create the pocket panels, you will need two circles, one of fabric and one of the quilted iron quick. On our next sample, we have cut the circles in half. You will layer the silver portion of the iron quick facing up, cover it with our fabric portions. On the interior of the pot holder, you will see that the soft portion of the quilted fabric will be next to your fingers. After cutting the circles in half, then you're going to zigzag all of the layers together. The pocket pot holder base consists of the silver portion of the quilted iron quick, which reflects the heat back. Here are the components for the base. We have a cotton layer of fabric, our insole bright, and the quilted iron quick, the silver portion to the base. Simply layer all these layers together and zigzag around the circles prior to adding the pocket components. After you have cut all of your components and have the pockets and the base pot holder zigzag together, we need to make bias tape to trim the pocket and the base of the pot holder. We're using a one inch bias tape maker and we're going to cut a two inch strip of fabric that is on the bias. We are simply going to feed the taper end of the fabric into the bias tape maker and simply advance it through with a pin. Once it's exposed, take your iron and press. After completing the bias trim pressing it, attach it to the pocket flaps and simply edge stitch. After two pocket flaps have been completed, add it to the base pot holder. And then we are going to zigzag all of the layers together. And the final step is to add the bias trim around the outer circle using your favorite binding technique. Enjoy making the 60 minute pocket pot holder that has finger pockets for added protection.